started. Okay, so we've got the grid already on the foam for the tufting pattern. And I pull the fabric so it's semi-straight and laying nice. And then I find my next position, which will be here. And then I take a tufting needle, already threaded with a button, and I'm using um, like surveyor's type cord. And then if I, do you want to come, can you come closer? If I fold the fabric back and estimate, I can see where the needle is moving in the fabric. So I poke it through right where the center of the hole would be, pull it through, then thread my next needle. So I've got two needles. My mom is lending me two needles. That's ready for the next button. While I'm stopped, I lift the board up, poke a second tufting needle head first, or eye first, through the bottom, because it seems to be easier to do it that way. Set the board down. Okay, I've got, <clears throat> we went through and marked all the pre-cut strings, pre-cut by us, um, at nine and a half inches between the marks. So this string would be nine and a half inches between the two marks. I'm tying just a general knot. I don't know what it's called. Hopefully oh. it's not one that comes untied. Overhand. An overhand knot. And then I want my marks just below the knot. So I make sure the black marks are lined up on both strings. And then I pull it tight. And since that's right where I want it, I take up the slack from the top. Okay. Thread this needle that's fed through the back. Pull it through. Till the knot. Make sure the fabric's not twisted. And then I take what I'm using, something to press against the foam. I'm using a impact wrench nut driver, just wrapped in plastic to keep the fabric clean. And then I put it on the button, flip my board over, take a just a general fender washer. It's too big to slip through the hole. Put my string through it. Now I press down to get some slack, and it's pressing on the other side with that nut driver. And then this is basically how you loop two rubber bands together. So you spread your string, your loop, put it around the washer all the way, so it's just looped around like that. And then I'm lining the nut, the sorry, the knot up with the hole. And then I release the tension, or release the foam, so it will give tension. And that's it. And then after we're all done, uh, we lift up the washer and put some wood. We've been using wood glue. Could probably use hot glue, although in Texas it might melt again. Um, so we're using wood glue. Um, and we got out this glue. So hopefully that will be good enough to hold. And then flip it back over. And which one did I do? It was either that one or that one. I think it was that one. So that's that's how you tuft. <laughs> hopefully I'll remember.